Alright, this is Political Destruction again. It's been a while since my last video on the DPO2. I actually have came back to it because I've been doing a lot of recording lately. Um, for, for you shaky camera fanatics, the people that complain about it, that is, uh, I actually have set up something because I can't actually hold it today because I'm doing stuff on the computer. Um, this video is going to be about editing your, uh, your song in Audacity, which is right here, the big one on top. And, uh, it's free. You can download it on, uh, Windows, Mac, or Linux. I'll post a link in the bottom. Um, this is just a basic tutorial for it. Uh, I'm going to do another video today also about... It's going to be a little bit more complex. Um, it's an experiment of mine. I haven't tried it, but I figured I'd do a video trying it because I'm bored. <laughs> Today's a good day, though, so... Yeah, I woke up for school. It sucks. <sighs> got up way too early. I um, just got back from spring break, by the way, if anybody wanted to... No, no, no one cares, so I'm sure. Um, anyways, because um, using 16-bit, uh, the sound quality... The sound volume, I'm sorry, is a little bit lower, and a lot of people have uh, asked about making it louder and whatnot, and this is just the best way to do it, so you don't have to strain, uh, you don't have to have like any peaks or anything, you don't have to do a lot of editing on the DPO2, because I know it's troublesome and very complex, and Audacity is just really quick to do this. Anyways, now let me go back to my shaky camera, oh, oh, there you go, um, I'm already connected. To save time, I'm already connected and I have all the songs transferred to my wave portion. And uh, my other video tells how to do that, but in in case you want to do that, um, you would just hit the menu button right here, and then go to wave, export master, and then you will export the master. Now the song I'm using in my other video, in the next video I will be doing, uh, I will be exporting each individual track. Now basically, what I'm going to do is open Audacity. Apparently I'm already running it, and I am. <laughs> Sorry. And then once it's open, I'm going to go to File, Open. Then I'm going to go to my desktop. Oh, what the heck? It's not right. Oh, sorry. I'm running Linux, by the way. It's free. It's a lot faster than Windows, if you can tell. Uh, I actually, over the time I haven't posted a video... Uh, I've got a computer and internet in my room. It's an old computer. It's slow, but it runs Linux fast enough for me. And it does basic stuff that I need to do. Now, I'm a big fan of open source software, so if you want to know something that's free, let me know and I'll get you a link or something. Anyways, I exported it, and I just used a basic name. All these uh, files up here, these are uh, the other tracks for the song, the, and all seven of these tracks are in this master track, which I will be using, in the next video I will be using all seven of these tracks. So I'm just going to open it, and I'm just going to put it in Audacity, and give it a second to load. It's loading. Stupid slow computer. Um, this is a song that my friend wrote, I'm going to post a link to his channel because he's a cool guy. I posted a link, uh, I mean, he wrote this song about a dead dog that he found on the side of the road, so, uh, here's how it is now. Let's I don't know if you can hear that, but it turns up. Anyways, that's uh, what the volume is right now. And now, the basic way to make it louder, and if you see here, let me zoom in. If you look right at my uh, cursor right there, there's a peak. And generally, if you have a peak, it's going to make it louder and make it a lot worse. So, what I would do, Audacity has a bunch of effects built in, which is pretty cool. Um, the simplest way and the easiest way, which is pretty professional, is you'd go to Effect here, down to uh, Normalize, and then I'd set it to about just negative 2. You can't set it to a positive number because, well, that wouldn't make any sense. You'd be making it louder. 
and you may be making the peaks worse. So I just set it to about negative two. Don't change anything else. Click OK, and then it'll work. And now, if you see that peak over here, it's actually down lower now. And see, now if you play it, it's going to be a little bit quieter. Actually, not really. But anyways, say, uh, comparing that to another song that's quiet, you would just go over here, and there's your track volume. And just make it a little bit louder until, uh, you got your meters up here. And, uh... If uh, they're not peaking, or if you can't hear any peaking in your speakers, then uh, you got it loud enough. I would make it go as loud as it can, because generally, uh, well, I, I would compare it to, say, like a YouTube video of a common song. That's what I've done for other songs. And uh, just do that, and then you can get a good balance for what sounds right. So now I've made it louder. <laughs> Blow all my speakers here. Yeah, and see, it was peaking, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I don't know if you can hear the peaking or not, but I'm going to turn it down a little bit because it was peaking in my speakers. Uh, and let's play it again. Now that was just using production on my uh, DPO2. In my next video I will be doing a uh, actual full production on my computer using Audacity, so stay tuned for that, it'll be real quick. Um, Audacity basically I mean you can pretty much do a lot um, in the event that you want to like say you got like uh, too much bass or something you could just find a uh, go down to effect and then equalization and create an EQ I've done that for some rap to add more bass you know um, that's basically it for this this video um, I hope this helps um, you can download Audacity off the website there's a link below there's also a link to the guy that made this song and his channel in the bottom so go check him out he's a pretty cool guy he does a lot of horror movies uh check him out he's a pretty cool guy his name's uh Dulb666 if I'm saying that correct I'm sorry John if I'm not alright um that's it for this video thanks for watching and stay tuned for my other video